Hello, my name is Dave Horsfall and I'm a research software engineer at Newcastle University. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little about myself and outline my proposal for the Software Sustainability Institute's 2021 Fellowship Programme. I completed my theoretical physics master's at Durham University in 2005, and then I spent several years developing a successful open source project focused on video encoding and streaming. In 2015, I joined a private sector company and led a development team creating business applications. And in April last year, I was thrilled to move back into academia and join the RSE team at Newcastle University. My time is split across two projects. The Fintrust project examines the role of machine learning in banking, particularly in the context of automated decision making and whether this leads to bias and financial exclusion. My second project is part of the Human Cell Atlas initiative, in which I'm developing interactive web portals that explore large single cell RNA sequencing datasets. During my first nine months as an RSC, and despite the pandemic, I've engaged with the research software community by speaking at several online events, including Source, and also qualifying as a carpentries instructor. I'm passionate about mental health and well-being in the workplace and attempt to reduce the stigma associated with mental illness by encouraging open discussion and education. In 2017, the government commissioned Thriving at Work report uncovered a crisis in Britain's workplace. People with mental health problems still feel stigmatised and are not getting the support they need. Many employers remain unsure as to how to provide adequate support and are collectively losing billions as a result. Just 13% of employees would feel comfortable talking about mental illness at work and even though stress, anxiety and depression are common, there is still a huge stigma that prevents people from asking for help. I would argue that maintaining good mental health is an essential professional skill that requires education and training to develop and that the sustainability of research software in the UK is dependent upon a healthy workforce of individuals that are not under risk of stress or burnout. By defining a set of best practices and improving awareness of mental health within the research communities in which we work, we can improve well-being and allow individuals to thrive building sustainable and productive careers. Over the past six months, I've been working with two UK mental health charities, Jonathan's Voice and the Charlie Waller Memorial Trust, to assist with the development of a mental health guide for early career researchers in the UK. The basis of my fellowship proposal is the mapping and extension of this work into the area of research software to which I am deeply committed. If I were successful in my fellowship application, I would have three objectives over the 15 months. The first milestone would be a national mental health survey that with the support of the SSI would cover a large proportion of the research software community in the UK. The survey would aim to capture a snapshot of mental health problems within the profession, their causes, their impact, the support available to help people cope with them and the steps that might be taken to improve things. The survey would explore the common stresses for software engineers and data scientists such as imposter syndrome, burnout, depression, perfectionism, decision fatigue and keeping up with new technologies. The Jonathan's Voice charity have completed similar surveys in other related professions and have offered to support this fellowship application through the provision of trained mental health professionals and additional finances for the SSI survey. I would aim to complete the survey in the first five months of the fellowship and a publicly available report would be published through the SSI. The data from the survey would then provide a strong evidence-based roadmap for the next objective in my proposal, which is the development of a structured and reusable mental health workshop specifically targeted at teams of software engineers, data scientists and researchers that use software in the UK. The workshop would aim to raise general awareness and reduce stigma. I hope the survey will identify several individuals at different career stages who are willing to speak publicly about their mental health journeys. These stories would be incorporated into the workshop, making the session more identifiable and engaging. However, the specific structure and content would be driven by the results of the survey to ensure that learner outcomes are relevant and useful. I am not a trained mental health professional and the fellowship grant would be used to generate mental health safe content that is underpinned by evidence-based best practices in teaching. To achieve this, I would continue to work with trained professionals at Jonathan's Voice and seek to engage the Carpentries organisation to leverage the required expertise. I would then use the remaining time and money of the fellowship to deliver the workshop, which would be a hugely rewarding experience for me. Finally, 
Throughout the lifetime of the fellowship and beyond, I would be an advocate within the community for mental health and try to lead by example. I would leverage the influence of the SSI to amplify voices talking about mental health. I would remain active on Twitter, blogs, and specifically seek the opportunity to speak at the RSE conference and the collaborations workshop. Through engagement with the community, I would also attempt to build a special interest group within the SSI to keep momentum and focus on mental health into the future. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our working habits permanently. Many workers have made a rapid switch to working from home for the first time and find themselves away from their routine and increasingly isolated. Now more than ever, it is important that mental health is taken seriously and that focus is given to protecting and retaining the highly skilled research software workforce in the UK. Thanks for watching.